Hey guys, it's Base of Sorg Economics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter with you here today. I want to talk turkey and talk Twitter. Please sign up for the newsletter. We got so much going on and uh, webinars and stuff coming up and events like like we just had this week with the evening with PodCamp, for example, uh, over at Sorgatron.com. So let's get into this. So Twitter, there's Dangerous Dan Hooven sent me uh, uh, an article. He's a long time a listener to the show, contributor, etc., and uh, he sends me an article about how uh, from Recode that Twitter plans to go beyond its 140 character limit. According to the article, uh, reports are that uh, they're building a new product that will allow users to share tweets that are longer than the company's 140 character limit. Okay. Uh, oh, people familiar with the ma- the company's plans. Almost there, Tom Merritt. Uh, but yeah, again, nobody knows what it's going to look like. Nobody knows anything like that. And now everybody's up in arms because like, this is not the Twitter I grew up with, man. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's not, uh, unfortunately. And and I fear for the future of Twitter. Um, we talked about this. We've talked about this uh, in some aspect about how everything's converging. But let me take you back a little bit. Why are why do we even have a 140 character limit on Twitter? Back in the day when Twitter started, um, I do believe it was before, or maybe that's just me because I didn't have the money for it. Uh, I, I remember starting Twitter not on an iPhone. And really, how many people had smartphones, iPhones, anything like that? If, if they did, they had super expensive. Uh, my wife had a Windows phone with a sliding keyboard or People had a BlackBerry or, or something like that, and yeah, that, that really helped when you know using Twitter at, in those days. But the majority of people were not accessible to that. I had a flip phone. I was T9ing everything, uh, and and Twitter really kind of started with being a service that could operate over the phone SMS system. That's why. <clears throat> that's why you have 140 characters. That's why there's that limit. Uh, because the uh, SMS limit, I believe, is 160 or 180 characters. And uh, back in the day, when you when you were tweeting, because um, you you set up you 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 connected your account on the website to your phone number, and then you could just t- text something to 40404, and that would send a tweet. I actually recently set up a uh, somebody uh, a wrestling promoter actually, so they could be on Twitter, and I showed them how to do that for their flip phone because they're still uh on a flip phone and i got i got you uh uh in the in the periscope saying yeah i remember i remember the old twitter yeah a lot of us remember the good old days of twitter when we didn't have pictures when we didn't have all this other stuff it was just text and texting and and that's why unlimited text plans were the best thing ever back in the day and now it's just kind of rolled in to your your thing these days and and we don't need it so much if we're on smartphones because everything just can be a notification and come over um come over your phone so i think that's really important to remember like that's the background that's why things are the way they are today and that's why we've been so used to that idea for so long right um and that's kind of, I thought, been the appeal, you know, much like, you know, Instagram. We're talking about Instagram uh, uh, up there limited or or has, uh, you don't need to have square photos anymore, or even when they upgraded the video. It's like, well, this was a great service because it did one thing really well, share pictures and put funny filters on them. And now it grows to something else. And, uh, and uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to see these as these go along and, and somebody's in the periscope saying that this is you have to adapt or perish. And I think that is the thing. And, and you know, look at my space. He's saying uh, and uh, Twitter is definitely trying to attract people, figure out how to make money. I honestly think they're just going to get bought by Google or something in the long run. And it's not going to matter. But in the meantime, they're not doing anything like that. Uh, they're trying to figure out what they are. Um, and I think Twitter is very important as a platform. Unfortunately, not making enough money, and that's that's really unfortunate. But hey, that's kind of that's kind of the the the, the company technology world right now, right? How many people get a service going, and then and then try to figure out how they can make money at it. But I don't know, uh, investors, innovation that kind of helps out too. And I'm being told in the Periscope a while back that Microsoft was interested in Twitter. <laughs> I, I don't care if somebody buys it, if it means it'll stay alive, and if it means it's not going to do something stupid with it. 
Uh, for instance, like Facebook, uh, it, it, by all accounts, Facebook buying Ocular VR, Oculus, o- Oculus Rift, whatever you call it. I forget what the company was called, uh, the core company. Um, but it looks like they've done nothing but enhance it and give it more flexibility. If that happens with something like Twitter, I think that'd be great. You know, I think uh, Google, of course, has already opened the floodgates and, and um, uh, brought Twitter back into the fold. And, and tweets are now searchable again in Google, which shows the power of Google as well. You know, I, I would not, you know, given that Google Plus is, can we call it a failed experiment or at least a, a given up on experiment or at least a, 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 a lower priority experiment at this point? Um, you can you can uh, definitely see them maybe buying that just for, OK, here's a social network and we get these, these feeds again. Maybe not in the way that we want, like Google Plus, but you never know. So I, I think. I think they do have to be careful a little bit. Um, I think they do have to uh, be careful a little bit that they don't kind of turn off the reason that people love Twitter in the first place. Again, we have this convergence where it feels like everybody's getting the features. Instagram's getting more comp- complicated. Twitter's getting more complicated with uh, with 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 images and, and videos and all these other things you can do. And the idea of expanding tweets. I don't want to say it's a it's a it's a Twitter killer. For for instance, but sometimes the limitations of a platform are what make things makes people do more inventive things on that platform. You know, having the square pictures and filters. You know, really, you know, people did a lot around that. So the way Snapchat Stories kind of limits you to make stuff in camera. Uh, you know, we've talked about on here how Casey Neistat does really interesting things in that format, and then he even puts them on YouTube and kind of got the whole idea to do a whole another app that's very similar. Right, and uh, you know, and, and, and you know, even Facebook. You know, in the Periscope, they're mention, mentioning gifts on 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 Facebook wasting data or video auto playing on Facebook, and, and and I think there is definitely a a, a a connection of they are aware more people have unlimited data or near unlimited data or enough data that it doesn't matter that. Um, it's okay, and they're going to adapt that, and it's not going to be the thing. It's going to it's going to evolve. Sure, it is, uh, but I hope that doesn't turn off Twitter from a lot of other people. But I guess in the long run, a lot of moves that they're making are to make it appeal to other people. Twitter was hard to describe to people like five years ago. Why am I? Why would I be on Twitter? Why would I start at this? I remember doing um, sessions at the library. Uh, we were doing teaching sessions and kind of explaining the situation and explaining. Listen, until you have a few followers, you start interacting with people, you're not going to get it. You know, uh, you're, you're not, it's not going to sink in. Oh, this is how I can communicate on this thing. Um, and now you go in there and it really kind of handholds you and shows you stuff on the front page. It's not just like a bird, a login, and hey, put it on your phone like it used to be. It, it really is like, hey, look at all the information that you would have here. And that is that prevalent, uh, and 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 you see Twitter tags everywhere, so it must be important, right? And it's so important to to that that social awareness and and advertising that a lot of companies are using uh, to be more direct with people. You know, you get to have a conversation in public and and show off how awesome you are to your customers or whatever the case may be, um, or you just get get to have a good conversation, you know, or you just get to to share information, you just get to state your thoughts. And and it flies out there. It flitters out. It tweety birds out there into the into the internet space, and and then it just kind of floats off. And keeps floating. Keeps floating. Um, and you wait for the next tweet and cat photo to entertain you for the day or red panda. Guys, please subscribe if you're really digging this stuff. Uh, Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron and the links there for uh, the YouTube, the iTunes, the Spreaker. I think we're on iHeartRadio now. I, yeah, we are on iHeartRadio. Look at you, Mikey and Big Bob. I, I threaten Mikey and Big Bob every time I get a new show on iHeartRadio. I'm taking over, buddy. Uh, but anyways, a little bit of Vince Russo there. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.